Okay, hello. So I'm going to show you the third alternative you can use for the enzyme experiment. So we're going to use um, NetLogo. It should be familiar to you by now. We're going to go to Models Library, and we're going to search one called Enzyme Kinetics. So here it is. All right, we're going to open up that. And we get this. Okay. Um, so there's a couple of things going on here. Um, I'm going to kind of explain the background. I've explained the background in a previous video. But we're going to look at a couple of different things you can explore here. I'm going to suggest an easy one, which is the volume here, which is a volume of the substrate. We're going to change this up to 10, just so we make some product. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this up at zero first. And we're going to get the, the Michaelis uh, Minton curve here. We're going to turn this on to pause. And we're going to use these in a moment. So I've set this all up. So zero molecules, so there's no substrate. Okay, so think of this as it, the volume is substrate. And we're going to go. Okay, unsurprisingly, we get an enzyme velocity or the speed of the reaction as zero. Okay, I'm just going to hit record velocity. So it's recorded the velocity down here with a substrate concentration of zero. Okay, I'm going to add, um, let's see, this goes all the way up to a thousand. So I'll, I'll do it in steps of a thousand. So I'm going to add that, hit setup, don't change anything else. And I'm going to hit go. Okay, and then I'm going to record the velocity. So now it's recorded the velocity up here. And I'm going to go up to 200, set up, um, go, record the velocity, it's set there. Okay, so we keep on going all the way up to 1,000, record velocity. I'm just going to jump ahead here to 7, set up, go, record the velocity. Okay, and you're kind of getting a, a graph of this. Um, so once you've done that, okay, you should do kind of ideally some multiple repeats because I think you're going to get, if we set this up, you get some different velocities each time. I think, yeah, you get slightly different velocities each time. So you could do five trials and that would allow you to do standard deviation, all those things you need to do to get a high point on your analysis. So once you've had all that data, so we can record that, set up, go, record, so forth. Once you have that all set up, you can go to export plot, and you're going to export the Michaelis Minton curve. With that, hit OK. I'm going to save it to my desktop. It's called That's Fine. However, you're going to get this, okay? Um, you can open this. I'm going to open it in Excel. And the important parts you see here are these, okay? Um, this is all your raw data, okay? So this is a part really limited. But ignore all this other crap. This is the only one you want here. X is basically substrate. Y is the velocity. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the velocity. Okay. Um, and then what you can do is you can make a plot of those and analyze that reaction. So effectively what you're changing here is the substrate concentration also. Okay. So if you choose this particular lab, you won't have the option of doing a design lab because there's not much design lab stuff here, right? Which is fine. So instead of that, you're going to do a conclusion and an evaluation. So it's another chance to practice your conclusion and your evaluation. And we'll try to put in a procedural lab uh, later. Um, maybe, hopefully, if we come back in this year or more likely maybe next year, okay? So if you want to do this one, that's fine. Don't worry about it. You're not 
because you don't do a design lab now, that's fine. We can we can work on that, but it's still giving you practice analyzing and doing a conclusion and evaluation. So any of these are fine based on whatever materials you have handy. Okay. All right. Thank you.